November 2013, I was back over at the Civic Suite, Catford, to attend the Lewisham Health Watch Fair 2013. Um, there was a free hand and head massage in the relaxation room over there, and a free light buffet and arts and crafts in the family room, plus an opportunity to talk to them about people's experiences of health and social care. And we also got to hear, basically, which is the main core of the fair, about what Health Watch or Lewisham Health Watch is and what they're doing and how they're going to be doing this throughout the borough of Lewisham. But as I've mentioned earlier, what is Health Watch Lewisham or Lewisham Health Watch? And this is taken from their site. Basically, Health Watch will give people a powerful voice locally and nationally at a local level. And local health watch will work to help local people get the best out of their local health and social care services, whether it's improving them today or helping them to shape what their health and social care services are for tomorrow. Now, local health watch is all about local voices being able to influence the delivery and design of local services, not just people who use them, but anyone who might need to in the future. And basically we got to hear a bit more about why Health Watch was set up and given some extra responsibility from the CEO of Health Watch England, Catherine Rake. But before I go into that, I might as well tell you um, what I got up to first. Uh, firstly, I booked myself into the event as I arrived to the Civic Suite in Catford and told the receptions that um, I was going to be taking some photos for the SLAM's blog site, basically SLAM is South London and Morsley, in which they were okay with this. I then met up with um, one of my uh, friends who's also a carer and we visited some of the stalls, but what stalls were on hand on this event? Well, there was quite a good selection and the first stall I visited was the IAPS stall, which stands for Improving Access to Psychological Therapies. And this store had a vast a range of booklets and leaflets. Um, IAPS Lewisham is a free and confidential NHS service which offers a range of psychological therapies to adults 18 years and over who are registered with a Lewisham GP or live in the bar of Lewisham. Now the aim is to improve the mental well-being of people experiencing difficulties such as low mood, sleep problems, feeling down due to unemployment or difficulties at work, lower self-esteem, panic attacks, and more. IAPS is also available in um, other boroughs such as Lambeth, Southwark, and I think perhaps Croydon. The next stall um, I visited was, um, was the Young Mind stall, which was run by Saffron Royle, um, who is the UK Youth Parliament representative and ambassador for Young Minds and Believe UK. Now Saffron is a staunch believer of mental health awareness, particularly of young mental health well-being. And Saffron's ideals are actually reflected off that stall she was holding, that being the Young Minds stall, which is um, a UK's leading charity committed to improving the emotional well-being and mental health of children and young people. Now I went through a number of leaflets from the Young Mind stall and was most impressed with, uh, with the campaigns not only on young people's mental health and well-being but looking into getting people involved in their campaign. The next stall um, was more of the local stall from the, the, the Lewisham's Toy Library and I spoke to the stall holder about the vast array of toys on that stall and if the toy library um, has been in existence for some time and then we were actually called into the conference hall to hear from Miriam, I think her name is Miriam Long the development manager of Healthwatch Lewisham. Now Miriam started off about the housekeeping now, obviously the fire exits, the loos and so on and then she talked about the event and what it was about and then introduced um, the CEO of Health Watch England, Catherine Rake. Now, Catherine spoke about the following: um, basically, what is Health Watch? And she talked about why Health Watch was formed, 
being from the Health Care Act because of the Francis inquiry and the, the Winterbourne view investigations. Uh, right from the beginning, Catherine then spoke about how Link um, came before Health Watch because there's obviously a service similar to Health Watch doing similar things, but Health Watch um, has a bit more power now, and they definitely are driving to hear from more people who use the, the NHS services. She talked about what makes them different and how they oversee all of the health services, plus how Health Watch can give uh, the, those users of the NHS a very powerful voice at a local level. Duty to provide information and advice to communities and that power of Health Watch is, is basically how many know that Health Watch exists. So if not many people actually use Health Watch, then they don't have that much influence. They, they serve the communities in raising our voice. Now, Catherine then spoke about um, Health Watch at a national level, about their duties and their powers. And she spoke about the CQC, which is a Care Quality Commission, and they do inspections of uh, NHS services if things are brought up that um, are basically showing signs that they're not meeting their targets or something's gone wrong um, within their services. There's been too many complaints. She then mentioned about, um, she, men she mentioned more on uh, Health Watch England and plus um, how they feed back to the Secretary of State. Now Health Watch tries to build a their awareness and uh, make effective use of their local powers. Basically they feeding back into Health Watch um, about patients or people's concerns or the experiences of um, the National Health Service. Health Watch England has a relationship with Health Watch Lewisham. Um, they, they have an emerging network to keep people in touch with each other and for other Health Watch in different boroughs. Um, at the centre, at what they do, is basically helping people to raise their voice in uh, the health and social care concerns because too often they hear that people fall between the gaps of health and social care and this is something that's, that happens all too easily. Now we have a right to access health and social care but too often those services are not always providing that access. We didn't hear again from Miriam Long, um, who then spoke about uh, more of the activities throughout the day and to hear what Health Watch Lewisham should focus on, on their eight or nine objectives, which I'll talk about soon. And then we had a game of bingo. But instead of using numbers, we used um, the names of care, of care and voluntary organisations throughout Lewisham, and apparently one person actually won both of the prizes, so I'm not sure how that managed to happen. After the, the game of bingo, um, I went around and visited a few more stores, and uh, the next one I visited was from the, the Burgess Autistic Trust, who helped raise awareness of aut autism and to give advice and support to those in similar position. Um, I believe 30 years on, they have actually grown in experience and expanded the range of services offered and their purpose is to unlock the potential and improve lives and widen horizons one notch at a time. And who do they help? Well basically they, they, they are here to help anyone that suffers from or is affected by the autistic spectrum condition and they will always make an assessment of those requirements and make recommendations and estimate costs where it is appropriate. I then visited uh, the Chaos Lewisham stall and met up with Diane Jones, who is the, the CEO of the Chaos Lewisham, and I bought some Christmas cards from their stall. They have um, a campaign of sending of send some Christmas cards, oh, sorry, Christmas cards, to, um, to raise some funds. Uh, so this time, anyway, I, um, I bought some Christmas cards because I tend to give out Christmas cards almost before the Xmas is actually over because I tend to leave things to the last moment so I thought I make, make use of my time being at the store and get the cards now. 
After visiting the stalls, I went off to have some refreshments. Um, I'm not sure who was providing the food at this time, but I then met with a few other carers and we headed off to the workshop to give um, you know, Health Watch Lewisham my ideas on what they need to prioritise on for, I believe, the next one or two years. And we were given four red stickers and had to choose where to place each of those stickers on their seven or eight categories. And those categories were the domiciliary care, mental health services, access to primary care, carers assessment and support, sexual health and HIV, integrated care, enablement and care homes and uh, the Lewisham and Greenwich Hospital merger, although I believe the merger has been done but I'm not sure if it's fully functional, if it's a complete merger as yet. And I visited one last store, and this one was from the um, the NHS Complaints Advocacy. Now, what they do is that they are a free and independent service that can help people make a complaint about the National Health Service. Most of us use the NHS at some point in our lives, and many of us use them quite regularly. Now, we know that NHS tries to work hard to make sure people are satisfied with their services and receive good quality treatment, but things can go wrong and people may want to complain about a service they receive from the NHS or might want to complain on someone else's behalf and there are different ways to do this but I won't go into them too much now I will tell you the site which is www.nhscomplaintsadvocacy.org so I'll just repeat that's www.nhscomplaintsadvocacy.org well, what did I think of the event? And I won't go on too long. Uh, the event I enjoyed quite well, and many did turn up, not as much as I thought, because it was quite cold. And the event was held fairly late, it was quite cold and dark. But we did have a fairly good turnout. I had some trouble sort of networking, people were very busy, and with me, I don't like to interrupt people, so I just really met up with some friends and just walked around stores trying to be kept informed and also participate really. The food was quite good and I did enjoy the game of bingo and I learnt, as I said I learned more I learned quite a lot from more of the charitable organizations in the bar from that game because we were using the names of all the charity of you know, all the organizations, the health and social care organizations in Lewisham and I believe there must be over sixty of them. But Overall, I did enjoy um, the Health Watch Lewisham Fair, and I think it was the first time they've actually gone and done this, and it was, it was certainly something that's needed to raise awareness of what Health Watch Lewisham actually do. But I still have to um, engage with the community. It's going to take a while before people actually know um, what Health Watch Lewisham or Health Watch and the other boroughs actually do.